Hey gorgeous sweethearts, how are we all doing today? If you're new here, my name's Vicky and if you're coming back to see me, well hello gorgeous, how are we all doing? So today, forgive looking like the trunch, you know, got a bit of Matilda going on, but you know, I know makeup, but we're doing a full face of Pound Shop. Well, it's not Pound Shop, it's One Below. It's cheaper than Pound Shop, you see. Yes, I was in One Below in um, in the centre near where I live. And I saw all this makeup stuff and I was like, hmm, video idea. So I picked some stuff up. Um, we've nearly got a full face. So there's a few bits that I didn't manage to get. But we've got foundation. We've got a few brushes to try. We've got an eyeshadow palette. We've got a contour palette. We've got lip stuff. We've got a mascara and we've got some like blusher stuff. So I thought, oh, let's pick it up. Let's see what we can come up with. Can we do? I mean, let me just add this at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven pound fifty. Because I got that for well less money. Um, I know that went from one below, but it was it was cheap enough to say we could include it in this haul. Um, so it's about. I'm going to say 13 quid's worth of stuff in here. So I thought, let's just see if we could do a full face with it. See what we can come up with. I mean, granted, it might be a load of crap. And then I'm just going to look like, you know, I've got Play-Doh on my face. But we don't know until we try, do we? So grab yourself a cuppa. Get your Matilda bun going on, you know. Everyone else looks like Molly May and I look like Matilda. Well, not Matilda. I look like the trunch. The trunch. The trunch ball. And let's just have a play with this makeup. Now, I couldn't get any lashes, but they were from Pound Shop, so I thought I could use them in this, see what that was like. And, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. Now, I've already moisturised and primed my face because I didn't have any primer. They do have moisturised in uh, one and below, though, but I already had loads in so far. There's no real point in buying that. So, let's start. So, I've got a couple of brushes here. I've got the, um, the bronzer brush. And then I've also got like a, it says it's a makeup brush but and a powder brush, but I thought we could try one for foundation and uh, see how we've got on. I've got another double-ended brush, um, that one, for the eyeshadows. And there's also a brush in the palette. Yeah, it's one of the sponge brushes. But to be fair, you know, I'm going to give it a show, see how it performs. And we've got an eye primer. I couldn't get, um, I couldn't get a concealer but there's a concealer shade in the contour palette so let's just get into it then so um we're gonna have to start with a founded liation aren't we so i picked up two shades because i didn't know what i was gonna be i've got ivory and fair and um, i think these are like a cream foundation so it looks like that when you open it up i'll move a bit closer to the camera and um, yeah, so I'm a bit nervous about this. That looks a little slight bit dark for me, but I have got some fake tan on, so we might end up mixing them. So that's the, I think that's the, yeah, that's the ivory shade. And then we've got the fair shade. So there we go. So let's just do a few swatches of these. Oh my God, these feel so hard. Oh, actually, no, not so bad when you wear working around with your finger it's like took the top layer off so it's not as hard so I'm going to swatch that one and then we're going to swatch the oh my god is that even foundation what is that more like a tint right I'm going to go in with this one the fair one and then if I need a bit more coverage because of my tan I'll put a bit of that over the top so, shall we try one of their brushes or shall I just use the one that I've got? But that would be cheating, wouldn't it? So, let's use this one. See if it's dense or not. See if it's dense enough for foundation, it might not be. It's very soft. I think what I'll do is I'll put it on my finger. It's very oily in, in consistency. It smells a bit like Play Doh. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not a snob. We're going to give it a go, give it a fair try. And, yeah, I don't know how much of this we're going to need. You let me know if you've tried any pound shop makeup and what it was like, because, you know, I, I haven't. I mean, I did when I was younger, but we didn't have the range. You know, what we had when I was a kid was number seven from Boots, and um, what was the other one called? Not number seven. Collection 17, is it, of 
something like that and we also had um what was it w7 yeah w7 those were the days there was <laughs> yes oh yeah i went to market for mercer my makeup but there you go so i'm going to take this swelly welly brush and see how we got on with this uh, it's very very soft for this to be fair but it is blending out See me looking down here, it's because my mirror's down here. It's the brush isn't really doing its job. I'm just gonna try rubbing it in with my hands. I know I don't usually do this, but I've got to give the foundation a fair shot and that's not the, the proper brush. So I'm gonna take a bit more on my hands and uh, do the old fashioned finger action <laughs> yeah it's rather drying on the skin and it's a bit light for me so I am going to go over the top with a slightly darker one slightly orangey shade which yeah the, the other shade's probably going to be more my skin tone at the moment because I'm tanned I'm just keep building it up see if I can get some coverage and really, it was just a curiosity to see if you were skin and, you know, you didn't have the funds to be buying expensive foundation. If you could get away with Pond Shop or One Below, sorry, should I say, makeup. I'm sorry, guys, if you can hear the kids outside, but there's not a lot I can do. I've got kids um, in the neighbourhood and they're playing out and kids will be kids, won't they? So, yeah, I do look like a bit of a ghost. I've got a bit of ghost sheet going on. I mean, I've got Coco the Calm Face going on at the minute. So I'm going to blend this out with this brush. Um. Ooh, she's textured. <laughs> she's textured alright. I don't know if you can see that, but that is textured. Yeah. Um. To be honest, foundation isn't my favourite, but... Yeah, it's very oily as well, and I've got really dry skin, so if you've got oily skin, I wouldn't go near this with a badge pole. But, for a quid, can't really complain, can we? I mean, to be fair, a quid for foundation, foundation. Where's me the lid? Where's me the lid? So, yeah, I'm not going to put much more on than that. Um, But, yeah, that's the foundation. It's called Lavelle. Perfect finish moisture moisture makeup perfect finish moist moisture makeup i don't know about you but that is certainly is not the perfect finish i mean but it'll do it'll do do for a bit of a, a bit of coverage it's very light coverage to be honest um but i'm not like if you know if you watch my channel before you know that i'm not all about like full coverage foundation but that is yes 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 anyway moving on so i've got contour palette how the heck can you make a contour palette for a quid but we shall see so this is by max and more and um yeah you get all those shades in it you get highlighter shades in as well let me just see what it says about it so it says contour dark spots i think it means spots conceal and it's got highlighter shade in as well so yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there's like little holes in it. So I'm hoping that this hasn't gone off or anything, but I'm sure we'll be alright. So, I'm just going to take some of the... Um, the concealer shade. The dark spot shade. Um, I think I'm going to go into this light one here. Although, to be fair... <laughs> Um, I don't think my face should be getting any more lighter because I do look like Coco, but anyway. We'll work with what we've got. We'll work with what we've got. So I'm just going to pat some of that. It's very oily again, guys. Really oily consistency. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, it's just slipping. See how oily that is? I don't know if you can see. You can actually see the oil in it. But at least it'll blend, so that's one good thing. And then I'm going to take the contour shade and I'm going to take that. It's um, I'm going to take it on my finger I'm just going to tap it where my cheek is I'm not going to put it here I've put it a bit high just to give me that bronze look 
because I've been favouring that more recently. You know, like the bronze cheek look instead of like the look. You know what I'm saying? So let's um a little bit on the forehead. I mean, it's oily enough, so at least it'll blend. <laughs> oh dear, the oh Lord, pray for me, pray for me. A little bit under the double chin on my finger. People be watching this and be thinking, does she know how to do makeup? Look, love. Pound shop, one and below. I'm sorry, all right? <laughs> they didn't have the tools, I'm improvising. So yeah, under there. And then I'm gonna take the other brush that I got. Or shall I use that Kabuki one? I'll use this one. Mm. Actually, that's not bending out under my chin that bad. You watch this contour palette, it'd be amazing. There's me dissing it. Like the mean person that I am. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's not blended out too bad. And then I'm just going to take it lightly. Hmm. You know what, lads and lasses? If I was in a tight spot and I didn't have much money, this contour palette ain't half bad. Do you know what it reminds me of? Do you know the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette, but the fake one that you got off um, AliExpress? A bit like that, but it's a quid, so, you know, you don't mind so much, do you? So I'm just going to blend that up. That's not bad, is it? I mean, even in person, it doesn't look too bad. It's passable. Mm. So I'm just going to take um, a little sponge, I know this is cheating, and put that concealer shade under my eyes real quick maybe not so much the concealer shade it's okay it's done its job it's lightened and you can still still see the textured sh all over my face but it's not too bad do you know what I mean so yes that is not bad so I'm going to take this other brush I don't even think I've got any powder did I get any powder oh I've got the blush We've got a blush. Oh, this should be fun. This blush is bad. Oh, it's liquid. Oh, my God. I thought it was one of those that year. It was bad bourgeois. Oh, for one and below, it was 89p. This better be good. I was going to square. Oh, 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 oh. That is. That's a colour and half that. What colour are you? What would you be? Um, coral. Uh, yeah. That looks straight up orange, but let's just dab a little bit on the cheeks actually again I think I'm speaking a bit too soon that's not bad I think you need to just build it up slightly don't put too much on but as cream blushes go that's quite pretty that I mean, obviously, everything's not going to be amazing. It's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be what you're used to if you're used to a bit more higher in makeup. But, I mean, I'm not makeup snobby, so it works and it's cheap. Give me it, you know what I'm saying? So, that is so pretty. Look at that. A bit, a bit more. And a bit on my nose. It's a little bit. Now, it looks a bit cocoa crazy at the minute, but a blend, hopefully. that how pretty I'm quite surprised with that yeah bourgeois one and below 89 p not bad not bad what are we thinking I mean my face looks perfect on camera but if you go like close enough yeah. if I don't blow spit bubbles you can see the texture of the foundation can you see Nimino's but do you know what the rest of it? The contour palette and that, um, I think I might have been a bit heavy with it. <laughs> and that is not that bad. You don't need a lot of pump away too much on my hand. Just let me get rid of this. I haven't found any powder, guys. So I'm going to just set my face because this is so oily, it's going to need to be set. <sighs> so I'm just going to set my face with just a bit of loose powder because, like I said, this is way too oily just to leave as is. Um, 
I just wanted to see how this um, foundation set because obviously they didn't have any powder. I just wanted to see how it set. Uh, so this is one of the brushes that I got. It's still, still a bit soft, but it's quite nice for a pound, isn't it? So I think this might be an 18 amp as well, actually. I'm just going to take a bit of my usual powder and uh, set my face with it. Actually, on the foundation part, it's not set too bad. It is a bit what I expected, you know, a bit collecting a bit on it. But on the concealer, it is sticking. Like I'll show you now, it's really textured. It's really showing. I mean, I wouldn't feel comfortable going out. Mind you, if I put some setting spray on it, it might it might change it a bit. It's because it's so oily, I think. On camera it looks really good but, you know, I mean what do you expect for the money to be fair. But yeah that blush is beautiful so if I just come closer you'll be able to see the texture. So yes, yeah, so I'm not going to put too much on because you know I just wanted to set it just to see. It's still a bit tacky but I'm not going anywhere today, I just wanted to test this, uh, these products out for you so yeah so let's go in next with uh, what we've got next next I think we should go in with the um, eye primer now this is called Max and More Makeup the same as the contour palette I think most of this is Max and More apart from the foundation um, and this is an eye primer it says eyeshadow primer so I don't have too many eyeshadow primers to be honest. I've got um, the Pierre Louise one, which I quite like. But I don't think it's as good as everyone raves out. It makes me, I really want to try the Gerard Cosmetics one. That looks, Nate sold me on that. I mean, Nate made me buy it. I need that in my life. Um, I know they, they put me on the waiting list for the stock, but I'm like, I'm supposed to be on a nil buy at the moment, but that's, that's just not working. That's just, it's not happening for me at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Yeah, you get a little uh, pamphlet with it, a little spiel. I think, what's this? Uh, what you be? What you talking about? Oh, it's just uh, instructions in different languages, which is good. So, just says, the natural eyeshadow primer from Max and More extends the wear of your eyeshadow, which is what we're all about, girls, isn't it? All lads. Lads and lasses, as I like to say now, this looks very, very sheer. It's very, very sheer. So we'll just see. I've got nothing for my brows either, so I'm just going to improvise with them, hopefully. I'm going to paint this on and pray. I'm going to go right to my brow bone because I'm going to put some eyeshadow up there. It's got no, not a lot of pigment to it, but I mean, to be fair, it is a primer. It's not a concealer, so you know. We we'll just have to see. I'm just going to blend that out. It's just a tacky base, isn't it, really? That's all that matters, really. That is a tacky base. See if I can do it with my finger, it might be better. Instead of using a sponge. I'm just going to put a tad more back on the eye because I think I took most of it off with that sponge. As long as it evens out my eye and gives me a sticky base for my eyeshadow, that is all that matters. And to be honest, it has done that. So, I mean, we shall see when I put my eyeshadow down. What it's like, I mean, this eyeshadow palette, I don't know what it's going to be like. It's a pound, so. Yes. Yeah, the only complaint I've got so far guys is the concealer as um when I've set it it's gone a bit cakey but and I'm gonna say but if I hadn't have set it that probably wouldn't have happened so, uh, it might have been the Laura Mercier because sometimes different powders work differently with different concealers but for a quid the contour the contour can't believe it I can't believe it anyway next eyeshadow palette I just picked up one they did have a couple of options but there's like a purpley one and I thought no nah, I'm just gonna get like a neutral one because I need something for my brows and this one had 
Sorry guys, I keep disappearing because my children keep screaming at each other. I mean, finally my youngest goes back to school tomorrow. He's only doing two hours because it's his first year and he's really excited and he's just screaming, ah, downstairs. So if that's what you can hear, I'm sorry, that's him. Anyway, I've just found this, um, I thought I bought an eyeliner. It's not, it's an eyebrow pencil, so we can do our blouse. So let's just see what this is about then. Let's just see. Let me just get me... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. Jesus wept. Let me just buy me a, get me the mirror. We need precision for brows. I don't know about you girls, but I'm not a massive, like, Insta... Sorry if you can see my mirror. I'm not very professional, am I? I've got to be up close and personal with brows. So basically, if you, if you want me to lean forward, I've just drawn an arch and done my brow and then I'm just going to fill it in. Um, I'm not like, you know, I want my brows microbladed. Does anybody else like really want to give that a go? I've got really strong brows there. If you've had that done, let me know in the comments down below what it's like. Cause I'm, I mean, I'm covered in tattoos, so it's not the pain that puts me off. It's just like waking up and like having brow I'm like, you know what I mean like you've been stamped one of those stamper things that's what I'm frightened of <laughs> so yeah so um let me just extend the brow down a bit do you know what that's not bad is it I'm just fill it in a bit more there I mean you see these people and they're doing like little strokes of hair and I just can't do it I just look stupid when I try and do like the fancy stuff I just can't do it so I just stick to what I know stick to what you know Vic stick to what you know if anyone's got any tips about brows, let me know, because I could really do with them. I really, do you know I haven't had my eyebrows done since before lockdown? <laughs> I've just been like, um, I've just been like tidying them up myself. But I'm just such a baby when it comes down to being, you know when they put the thing in the mouth and they're like, oh God, do you think that pain's like worse than labour? <laughs> or is it just me? It just goes through me, I can't stand threading, it's horrible, it's horrendous. Is it just me being over dramatic? Let me know. Let me know if you think Vicky being a bit of a bitch, being a bit of a baby bit, baby bit, bit of a a baby bit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can take it. Probably, yeah, probably am to be fair. Now, now I'm looking closely. That foundation is just settling in absolutely everywhere. Uh, to be honest, I don't recommend the foundation, but that contour palette so far is not bad. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't expect much from the foundation for a pound, to be honest, but do you know what, the eye, eye, eyebrow pencil, that's not bad, that. And what, let me just see which one it is, it's Lavelle again, it's the same make as the foundation, but I don't really rate this, but this, I mean, this maybe, if you just wanted, if you mix this with um, moisturising, you just wanted a bit, you know, a bit of a glow going on, this could work, so next time I might... Give that a go and let you know what it's like, you know, when I'm just around the house. Because I don't like wasting things. If anybody else wants one of these, because I've got two. I know I've touched it, but let me know. Uh, probably works. because it was any quid, but I don't like to waste things. Um, and I know we're like, san people are real funny with makeup, aren't they? So, sanitising stuff, so. Anyway. So, yeah, that's the um, eyebrows on and uh, yeah i've primed my eyes already so let's go in with this um eye eyeshadow palette i'm not expecting a lot because it's a pound but you know as long as i can get an half decent little look out of it i yeah first so it's the maximum one again it's a little cute little palette you, you think to yourself how the heck can they make these for a quid wouldn't you you just think how can they do it but they do and they can so i mean cool Coolio, look at me trying to be all hip and down with the kids. But you think if you can shut up. So yeah, this is a little cute eyeshadow palette. Should we do some swatcheroos? So we've got a white, which isn't right off the bat. I can already tell us a load of crap, but yeah, you go. Um, yeah, they're not very pigmented, what can I'm swatching? Hang on, let me just see if we can dig in. Yeah, so, um, yeah, they're all right. Really a lot of fallout on them, but uh, when I'm digging in more, you're getting a bit more payoff. Let me do one of the darker shades. You know what? I can't even tell on this what is an actual matte and what's actual shimmer. I think these are all mattes, you know. Are they mattes? Do you know what? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, 
Oh, I think the top might be on. I think the top might be all mats and then the one underneath might be the sh Oh, yeah. Silema might be the shimmers. So the shimmers do look better, which is good. I mean, what do you expect for a quid, Vicky, to be fair? <laughs> You're not going to get a decent eyeshadow palette for a quid, really, are you? I mean, to be, to be fair, I've been surprised sometimes what you can get for cheap money with eyeshadow palettes. Some really good ones. There's a few swatches. To be honest, um probably just as good as the Primark one that I got um, and this was a pound so uh, let's just let's just give it a go I shouldn't be really judging it yet should I chill judge you judge you Vicky before you've even tried it so where's the other there we go so I've got a couple of brushes got that one in the thing do you know people have been raving about these for um packing on shimmer so hopefully if I wet this I might get a bit of pop do you know what I mean so yeah, obviously this isn't how I usually do my makeup. I am aware that this probably is going to look like crap. I'm just testing the products out. So you guys, if you fancied picking any up, you know what's good and you know what's not. So there you go. I I you know, I ain't a, a snob with makeup. I tell it, oh my God, I've just put a big chunk out of the white. <laughs> That's a good start, isn't it? Vicky, what are you doing? So anyway, let's take this one here and we'll take this mat here on the top this this one here shall we zoom it in shall we zoom it in zoom it in zoom it in you'll be able to see all the beautiful text you know <laughs> right so i'm just gonna put oh my god i've just put black match eyeshadow all over my lid just two seconds so yeah i'm not even gonna edit this out i'm gonna lick a tissue now and you're gonna think vicky you're a tramp Yes, I am. So, let me just go back over with that and give it a fair chance. <laughs> oh, dear me. What am I like here? Got to keep it in. Got to keep it real. Keeping it real. There we go. So, we're going to try that again. So, I'm going to go into that new chip. <laughs> it's picked up all right. I'm just going to put that. Oh my god. Um I'm gonna have to use a different brush. These are gonna be no good. Let me go in with that one. The brush is not yeah, I'm gonna have to go in with one of my brushes and give it a fair chat because it's not fair of me to judge it on that brush because it's 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 rock hard. That's a packing brush really. That's all they had there. They had some other brushes in the sets, but there was crap and I just thought you can't really judge it, so let me just take a clean, fluffy blending brush and... Yeah, that's better. I mean, it's not the eyeshadow's fault. Oh, my word, though. Have you seen? Just let me, um... Turn this light down so you can see. It's collected all on one side with that primer. Can you see? Ooh, eh, uh, yeah. I'm not enjoying that. It's just... It's not putting laying any colour down, it's just collecting. So I've just laid that base shade down and then we're gonna go into oh Jesus. Um let's go into this grey shade here. I think we're gonna have to go dark with this out, we otherwise nothing's gonna show up. This dark, I think it's a mark this one here, if you've got it. Pray for me. Right. Uh Let's just do a smoky eye, we'll try anyway. Not that's not really showing up to be honest. I know you probably think I can't do makeup, but I, I you know I'm not a makeup artist, but I can pull looks off usually. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into the black and again, not really that pigmented. And I'm just gonna try. That's a bit better. Um Oh my god, I don't know if you can see this. But can you see where I've put that um that base down? It's just sticking. Oh it's horrendous. Oh my word. Um Um what am I gonna do? 
think we're just going to have to go in with a brown and pray. Pray. Pray to Lord Jesus. Oh, I'm going to have to stop and start again. I'm going to have to start again. I can't use, I can't use that base because it's not a fair representation of the palette. Just one second, guys. I'm going to keep this in because you need to know, don't you, that not all things are. This is life, isn't it? Things aren't always going to be perfect and, you know, people delete the bad, but you've got to, I mean, see, look at the ton of fallout under here. You've got to take the good with the bad and realise that it's life and not everything's going to be perfect, is it, love? So... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give it another chance. I'm just leaving this foundation now because I've just like took half of it off. Gotta give it another chance, cat. Oh my word! I'm gonna take it off the other side as well, aren't I? <sighs> wow! I do with this. How am I gonna make this work? Let me think. Think, Victoria. Think. Right. Let me just take this off. Take this. Um, And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my concealer. I know it's cheating, but I've got to give this palette a fair, a fair go. And it's not fair to do it and say it's no good when I haven't given it the fair, the chance of what I would have given me the palette. Sorry, guys. I know it's not the pound shop stuff, but it's not really fair for me to say, well, this palette's a little crap if I haven't used what I would normally use. So I'm just going to put a bit of... Um, shape tape on my eyes. Right, guys. I really wanted to like this as well. I really wanted just to say, look what I've got for a pound. And I sort of knew in my back of my mind that it was probably going to be a load of shit, but I wanted I wanted it to be wrong. I really wanted it to be wrong. So I'm going to start again. I'm going to go in with another brush, and I'm going to go into this one. I'm really going to wet my brush in there just to pick some product up. Product, product up. I'm going to go into my crease. I mean, I, I knew that it probably wasn't going to be the most pigmented thing in the world, but I would have thought that it would at least have showed up. Um, so I'm just going to lay that down on my crease. Yeah, it was definitely that that was making it do that. It's, it's not doing it with this shade, but again, it's not like massively showing up. You probably won't be able to even see it. I've gone really hard. I mean, look, I'm really digging into this pan and it's just, it's not picking up, is it, love? Do you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we like to see stuff that we put on. Right, I'm going to go into this green here and pray that it is going to show up a bit. And it isn't. It's, it's... Oh, no. I'm just going to have to do a really, really neutral look. I've gone into the brown. I think it's a shimmer. But... What else can I do? It's going to be really, really, really... It's not even... In the brown you can see, but it's not even... I'm going to put the brown on my finger. Tap it onto the outer portion of my lid. You see, even on my finger, it's patchy as hell. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm going to put it on my lid and then I'm going to blend it. So I've got a little bit, just something on the lid. Blend it into my crease. It looks muddy and dirty as hell. <laughs> I'm going to go into the nudie shade and I'm going to pat that on the inner portion. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not good. This is going to go in the bin. I don't recommend this at all. Um, I hate putting things in the bin as well, but 
I mean, what can I use this for? It's not, it's honestly, it looks like it's picking loads of products up, but when you swipe, swatch it, see how patchy that is? It's ridiculous. Um, see, I don't want to dip back into that black because it just made my eye look a right mess. So I'm going to take the smaller brush again and I'm just going to go into the darker shade and, oh God, I don't know if I dare. Sorry babes, my uh, my camera with battery just died. So I'm just going to take that um, chocolate shade with the um, packing brush that I got. And it's picked up a lot nicer on there, but I'm just going to run that under my lower lash line. Just to give myself a little something, something. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try wetting. Right, I've got some air setting spray. I've got to give these the benefit of the doubt, I can't keep just, you know, dissing things because they're cheap. But I feel like I am, but I'm not, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to... I'm just blowing my face. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to dip into that... No, oh, I don't know what shade to dip in. The chocolatey shade. I'm just going to try that. I mean, it is darker when you wet it. I don't know if you can see it's much better than yeah so if you do buy this then definitely wet wet it because it is better I mean I'm not amazingly much better but it's better than what it once was if that makes any sense so I'm just going to deepen up my crease With that brown, and then I'm going to take a big fluffy blending brush. <sighs> it's got. No, I don't know if it's this eyeshadow palette, but something is really making my eyes sting. I'm praying it's not this. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, I'm just going to go back into that white shade. Um. I think this is the best I'm going to get it, you know. Um, yeah, I think this is the, probably the best I'm going to get it. I'm just going to put a bit of eyeliner on and... No, in fact, before that we'll use the mascara. So this is the Lavelle, the beautiful Lavelle again. Um, mascara in black. And it is the Dream Lash. It's just stinging. Oh, I'm hoping that I am not having a reaction to this. It's not on what's on my face anyway. So I'm just grab me the mirror. What have I done with you? Oh, there you are. So that's the wand. I mean, it looks pre pretty, a pretty good mascara. So we'll give it a go. See what it's like. Quite a big wand. I prefer a slightly smaller one, but. I suppose if there's one or two things that come out of a pound shop haul that you can save money on and the rest are crap, at least you've found something, do you know what I mean? You always found something in a haul that you think, oh that's decent, I'll buy that again. And to be fair, oh this mascara's not bad. Don't know if you can see. That's not bad that. But I wouldn't recommend that um <coughs> eyeshadow palette because it's just zero pigment, can you see? It just doesn't, there's no pigment. Even with the shimmers, there's no, there's no depth to them whatsoever. So it's just like, you can try and try and try and you're just not going to get nothing. So yeah, that is very pretty, that um, mascara. Right, guys, I'm just going to finish doing the mascara and I'll be I'll come back to you because I'll speed through this. <sighs> okay, darlings, I'm going to do my lashes now. Um, like I said, these aren't from One Below, but these are from Pound Shop. So I've got two in the packet and I've used one of them already, but I just thought I'd show you. These are from um, Poundland. Very similar, but I've just started. Look, so they are quite nice lashes. 
Um, the, the band's not too bad, it's very plasticky feel, but I suppose it is pan shop, so. so um, yeah, they're not the best lashes in the world, but for a pound, I mean, they're quite passable. Um, obviously, they look a lot, they're not no um, whispers or anything, but they're definitely passable and definitely worth what I paid for them. Um, I used the other pair that was more like a natural lash, this is obviously more of a, a bigger lash but to be fair they're not bad are they I mean two pairs of lashes for a pound you can't you can't grumble the mascara is brilliant what I will say is that I did have a little bit of bleeding on the top I don't know if you can see but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna stop dropping things dropping things on the floor I did have a little bit of bleeding but um you know nothing too bad I can I can get rid of that I can fix that um but yeah I really like the mascara so I'd definitely buy that again I mean it's gone now look I've just got rid of it um, I'll definitely buy that again. I'm going to use a little um, W7 um, Prismatic Highlighting Palette. Now, I put one of these in the giveaway. Um, I thought it was really, really cute and really, really affordable. This was about a pound and this was from Home Bargain, so I thought I'd include it today, show you what it was like. So, I'm going to go into the, um, there's like a green shade, so pretty. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. <gasps> So, so pretty. I don't know about you, but in a con highlight can just fix anything. <laughs> it can fix any look, it really can. Lashes and in a con highlight fix anything. So, I'm just going to take my usual um, highlighting brush, which is just the. Um, what brush is this? I can't remember the name of these brushes. I've got a few of them. I always forget the name of them. Um, techniques. Really like techniques. Technique brushes. I'm just going to take a bit of that green and go over the top. Oh, that is really beautiful. I really do recommend this. Um, if you like popping highlight like me, I like to pop. I like to have a bit of popping highlight going on. I like to be seen from space, me. So, bit of moustache, a bit on the old nozzle. It really helps. Do you know? Just blend your makeup in. I'm going to take a bit of the pinky shade on the bottom as well because it's really pretty. I'm just going to, I like some on my cheeks as well. You can't see because the lights are washing me out. They're just tennis lights on. They're so pretty, these highlights. You see it now? So, so pretty. I'm absolutely loving these. Um, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but they're really, really pretty. Anyway, next we have lips. Now, I just picked up one of their lip kits. It is in the colour wine. You get... I just thought these were really cute for a pound. Hopefully, they're going to be better than the eyeshadow palette because that was just... Yeah, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, you get a lip colour, which is... It says Colour Spell Ultra Matte Lip Cream, and it's got a really cool star on it. And then you get a lip pencil and it's got a moon on it and I just thought they were so cute bit of a Jeffree Star vibe going on there do you know what I'm saying so let's give it a whirl oh the lips are as dry as the sun wait a minute ladies and gents let me just put some um, stuff on just to get rid of this what be a set should have done this before and should I really recommend this this project lips um, scrub that I got I got it in a subscription box and it is absolutely beautiful it isn't as messy because i've got a few lip scrubs and it's not messy it doesn't go everywhere it makes his lips feel amazing i'm just really enjoying it i'm gonna do a video let me know if you want me to do a video on stuff in subscription boxes that i would buy can i think in a different one uh, got a few good uh ideas for a few channels so Mm. And it tastes amazing, but I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it today. So then, yeah, let me just get rid of this. What be a sec? Right. That's a bit better. So yeah, I'm just going to take the the lip pencil, which is like I say, come in the set, and. Uh, Let's just give it a go. Mm. 
Do you know what? Like, that is applying really nicely. See how pigmented that um, the pencil is? And it's, it's hardly touched. You know, you get some pencils and you've used half of it on one application. And it's really creamy. Not too creamy, so it's like, you know. And you know, let me just fill my lips in. I mean, obviously, uh, you did have some other colours as well, they did it in a red. Do you know what? You could actually just leave it like that, but I'm not gonna. I really like that. I'm gonna. I'll end up using that again most definitely. So let's go in with the um, lip color on top. So I always, if I'm doing a deep color, I always like to do a lip liner underneath. Make sure your lipstick lasts so much longer as well. It does stink though. <laughs> it smells chemically, but it's not lingering. You know what I'm saying, so. Let's just see how that dries. I mean, that looks really nice. Hmm, what do you think? See how that dries down? Yeah, quite like that. It's just smell like it's, it's that, uh, that chemically smell that it's the only thing that I don't like about it. But to be fair, it's nothing that would put me off from wearing it again if it's just the smell that's it's a bit sticky but it's not dried down yet so let's just see how that dries down um so yeah i think that's it in the box isn't it so let's just go over the stuff that i got and what i think so yeah that's going to be going in the bin i think it's it's not for me it's really cakey on my face let me just try putting a bit of setting spray on and seeing if that makes any difference highly doubt it but you know change of things have happened at sea I mean it's not too bad um it's just I can just tell you now that it's gonna last five minutes and it's gonna melt off if I go really close you'll be able to see it's textured as heck it's horrible um yeah it's not for me that but yeah I, I, I wouldn't recommend these um However, I would recommend the contour palette. Now, I wasn't really um, talking about the actual concealer shade, but this contour shade was really nice. And I reckon that you could build up a really nice, you know, snatched look. So, for a pound, I would definitely recommend that. Even if you just use one or two shades, definitely. Um, I'll do the lip colour last because it's not dried down yet and I want to give it the best shot. So... Yeah, so the next, uh, no, nah, I don't recommend that. That is horrendous. Um, when I put the shadow on, it just stuck in one place. Looked really patchy. So for me, that's a no. Um, the mascara I thought was really nice, really good value, really black. Length of my lashes, I did what it needs to do, and for a pound, definitely recommend that. What else did I get? Uh, um, uh, the brow liner again, brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Um, for a pound, definitely recommend that. Um, the, the eyeshadow palette of death. No, thank you. Ah, uh, uh, no, horrendous. Um, zero pigment, patchy. I'd still not even have any on. I'd still just put a bit of bronzer in my lids and call it a day because that is horrific. I, d I don't recommend that at all. Um, the brushes, not really for me. Um, I'm going to keep that because everyone's been saying that if you wet these with shimmers are really good so I'm going to keep that that's good that's not bad for packing the bigger ends so I'm going to keep it 
Um, the Kabuki brush here, the Kabuki brush and the uh, fluffy brush, that's quite a nice brush. Definitely for bl bronzer and um, blusher would be nice. I quite like those brushes. I thought those were worth a pound, definitely. And what else was they? I know there's some thing else on here oh yeah i recommend that that is really nice that bl blusher fantastic value for money sorry i know this video is going to be so long guys i'm going to try and hurry it up the um w7 um prismatic palette fantastic really nice beautiful highlight you could even use that on your lids i definitely would have preferred to use that on my lids rather than the eyeshadow palettes are definitely brilliant that really pretty um the lip oh yeah the lip products dried down beautifully actually, um, doesn't feel sticky, doesn't feel like it's too much on my lips and I think that was it wasn't it guys, I think that's all that I put on my face anyway, I don't think there's anything else, no I think that's it, so yes yeah, so that's what I thought, I mean two or three, three, half of it I didn't enjoy but half of it I did so it's all like hit and miss isn't it with um, with oh the lashes, yeah I like the lashes, quite nice, quite comfy I wouldn't go out on a night out in them, but during the day, definitely wear them. I think quite nice. So yeah, so um, so yeah, that's it, guys. I'm gonna let you go now, my loves. Make sure you uh, sub you, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Um, I do post loads of beauty stuff, fashion stuff. So if you're interested in things like that, definitely subscribe because I do put a lot of content out. Try to get two or three videos out a week, at minimum of two. And um, make sure that you got the notification bell turned on. Also check out my playlist up here, that's uh, all the videos that I've got on, uh, tons and tons of videos on makeup and reviews and stuff. And that's it my darlings, I hope that you've had a fantastic day and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Also take a look out for the um, giveaway that I'm doing in, at the end of November, I'll link that up here as well. Um, I'll link that up here as well darlings, um, I love you so so much, take care. I'm really sorry that this video has been a bit hit and miss, but like I say, it's life, isn't it? N nothing's going to be perfect, but, you know, I've got an alright look out of it in the end, I think. Obviously, I won't wear the foundation. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to love you and leave you now, my loves. Take care. Love you so, so much. And do you know what? Look. Ooh. Kiss proof. I love you so, so much. I will let you go now, my darlings. Bye.